Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about five ways how to lose weight and be healthier. My name's Juliet, if you don't know already, I am a mum of two and I vlog all about beauty, lifestyle, motherhood, um, you know, everything that I can think of. But over the years I've done a lot of different diets and the one thing that I have found is that there are a few fundamentals that run the same through every single thing, every single plan you do. Um, but if you want to hear my five tips to lose weight and become healthier, then keep watching. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So number one, drink more water. I think it's one of the things that a lot of people struggle with. I don't mean tea, I don't mean coffee, I mean water or squash. Try to drink at least two litres of water a day. And the reason being is you actually hold water in your body. You can retain up to a stone in water. Um, so if you find that you want to drop weight really quickly, if you start drinking water at least two litres a day, you will see the weight start to drop because the water that you're retaining will be released from the body. And that is a really good way to start and boost your weight loss. Number two, get sleep. It is really, really important to get sleep if you can. Now, being a mum of two, I know that this isn't easy. Um, on a good night, I get six hours now with my little one being eight months old. Um, but six hours is brilliant when you when it's compared to like the hour that I used to get when he was first born. But just try and get to sleep when you can. If you can put your kids to bed, finish up around the house and you go to bed, that would be brilliant it just means that you can get those that sleeping get that rest in and it really does help with your weight loss number three up your exercise now i don't mean that you've got to go and take a run in or you know you've got to start going to the gym seven times a week what i mean is just start to move a bit more now i have my fitbit i have my fitbit uh blaze fitbit blaze and i absolutely love my blaze um and it shows me how many steps i'm doing each day and this really helps me because what i do is i set a daily step target and i try to hit that step target so even if it just means just before bed i'm like only on nine thousand, i'll try and rush around the house do some washing up do a few more chores just to hit that ten thousand. and just hitting ten thousand steps a day you would be surprised how much more you have to move about so that really really helps and just doing that a little bit more will help you get your fitness level up number four try my try and find some presents oh mom can i go to school not today we're going monday oh mom how about we're going how about we go now shops and we're going to find my presents again okay go on then i'll see you in a bit i'll see you in a bit Number four, and that is healthy mind. Now, I'm planning on doing a vlog on anxiety um, because it is something that I have really, really struggled with, with my first child and more so now with my second. Um, it's even really difficult for me to talk about now. But I do find that a healthy mind really helps. Um, when I'm down and when I'm having um, anxiety, panic attacks, um, and when I'm going through a real depressed time, I find that I comfort eat, I struggle with my weight, um, I get really depressed about my body image. And I think that when you're negative about your body image, you it does affect how you lose weight. I actually used to follow Paul McKenna, who's a hypnotherapist in, um, he did a weight loss journey. And with him, I actually lost four stone and it was all around body image. And it was all about how you felt about yourself and loving the body that you're in. So even if you want to change and you want to be slimmer or you want to be more athletic, um, you've still got to love the body that you're in at this moment in time. And I think by focusing on having a healthy mind and being positive really, really boosts your energy and can really help you become healthier and lose weight in effect. 
Number five, the last and final one is a food diary. So before you even start to think about diets or what you're going to cut out or what you're going to do, it's really important to get a food diary and start writing down what you're eating. Some people don't eat enough. Some people don't eat enough of the right things. Some people eat too much of the wrong things. It's amazing how when you write things down, things pile up. So when I started Slimming World, I started to do a food diary and I found that I was eating things like leftovers of the kids meals, um, biscuits was my massive one. I think it's really important to make a food diary, see what you're eating and then go from there. And those are my five tips for losing weight and starting a healthy lifestyle. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. I really love all the support that I get from you and it's absolutely great. Um, I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.